How big is that queue? Uh, it's five at a time, and there are four people in the queue remaining, including Kenzen. Ah, uh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Hmm. I know what this is. Okay, so that is a string shot. Um. I believe that's a string shot Galvantula. I remember seeing something like this. I don't want to get bodied right now, Kens. I don't want to get bodied. Please don't do this to me, bro. All right, let's lead off Raikou. Um, Raikou cart doesn't seem bad. I definitely want Gigalith in the back. I'm pretty sure that's Urshifu Dark, so I'm going to have to... To play it safe, I'm going to bring Tapu Finny. No Trick Room Gigalith. Like, that's, that's a really risky thing I have to do right here, I think. Uh, it's only an Android at the moment. But I'm keeping it open, because this is going to be a game where the extreme speed at matters. <laughs> what is this? Urshifu and you. Huh. This is a very scary play to make, but... Um... I think I have to go for it. I'm gonna reflect here. I'm gonna max air stream into the Urshifu. Yeah. I'm pretty certain he's running a Koba Berry on the uh, Amoongus, and Kartana doesn't really care about it, so if I can if I can get this reflect off, I should be able to eat the close combat pretty safely. How plus Kartana school? Hey, thank you. Yeah, this is the support Raikou I was talking about. Alright, they're not Choice Scarf. Hopefully, they're Choice Band, and I don't have to deal with two hits from this guy. Okay. That's... Hmm. If they're Choice Band, I'm no longer... I'm no longer excited about that. Please be focused. <laughs> Dear God. Okay, good play by them, ignoring my, my thing. Uh, they should be going for a Spore here. That's fine. I can waste a turn while they try to, uh, while they, like, hit me. I can waste a turn trying to wake up. What they have in the back again? A lot of scary stuff, but mostly physical attackers, if I remember. Mostly physical attackers, so I'm gonna take this turn to the Howl and hopefully wake up in two turns. I'm actually gonna max Knuckle to KO the Urshifu. I got a Shiny Kartana first Dynamax adventure two weeks ago. Hey, nice dashing set out. That's, that's good, man. Sucker Punch shouldn't do too much behind the Reflect. We'll max Knuckle for the KO. We're at plus one, plus two now. If they brought that um, Moltres, which I don't think they did, considering I have a Gigalith, uh, I'm in a very precarious situation, but if they didn't bring the Moltres, I might just win in this situation. What are you going to go for? Giga Drain. Ow! Raikou actually has nasty special defense, so it doesn't really care too much about that. There's the Moltres. Yay! Moltres! Yay! Moltres! Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, I kind of want to keep my guy. I know for a fact this uh, Max Airstream isn't doing nothing. I think I'll light screen up here. And I mean, I don't mind the damage that I can get off on this guy, but I also don't want to allow uh, the Amoongus to ruin my my guy's day. So I'll actually max Airstream into Amoongus. I'll let the Kartana go down here. And that's just an exchange for getting in Gigalith, hopefully for free. It depends on the Kartana's item. I'm at plus two attack though, so this this is really this is really iffy. If I get this reflect off, there isn't many there aren't many ways that they can actually beat the uh, Gigalith, especially if they're not running Scorching Sands. So let me see if I can wake up here, that'd be great. Hey, okay, there's my light screen. I'm not gonna eat the hit from the Moltres, but this is for the Gigalith in the back. Hopefully what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna KO this uh this Oh, awesome, they're not Koba Berry. I was gonna say if they're Koba Berry they eat, but they don't in this case. So awesome. Awesome. Oh look, a flying chicken. Hell yeah. 
Kanto Moltres is pretty good, to be honest. It's it's basically just like a faster... No, it's not a faster Charizard. It's a bulkier Charizard. There's the Max Flare. That's fine. Uh, I'm losing my Kartana here. But I can deal with it. Kartana, honestly, I got a lot of mileage out of it. Now, the question is... Is there a... Is there a big rock man in the back? That, that's, that's the question here. Is there a... Stupid Dracovish. Honestly, if there is, I should go Tapu Fini here. Just to play it safe, I should go Tapu Fini. Because if there's a Dracovish, I can knock it out. Hey, there it is. There's my boy. There's my son. I want to see my little boy. Here he comes. I want to see my little boy. Do you guys remember that vine? I remember that vine very, uh, very happily. That was a very good one. All right. I should always double into this Dracovish. Moonblast. They're probably just going to go for Max Airstream. I should eat both of these hits, though, because it's in the sun. Um, and also, Tapu Fini's behind both screens. Vicious Rend. Psychic Fangs. Okay. Scary. 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 <laughs> you can eat, right? Okay, that's just a Max Quake. Tapu Fini, I'm gonna need you to actually, like, KO this guy right now. Tapu Fini, if you do not KO this Dracovish, you're getting released. Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini. Bapu Bini. Bapu Bini, please. Bapu Bini. No. <laughs> no! There's a chance. There's a chance. Um, I always protect here. I almost want to double protect. I don't think the sand knocks him out, to be honest. So I'm just gonna, gonna moon blast. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just moon blast. No, this one is most certainly not a choice item. There's the Psychic Fangs. I wanted to make the read. Actually, hold up. I think I win. If the Sand KOs him, or if I KO him with my Finny, I should win here. There's a Max Flare. We're good. I think I win. It's pretty much just dependent on whether or not my, um... Whether or not I get, like, crit by Scorching Sands. Because if they, if they crit me, I still get my Weakness Policy. Or not crit. Uh, if they burn me, I still get my weakness policy. Oh, wait, no. They can't even burn me because I have the terrain up. Okay, yeah. I should be able to rock slide here, especially since their Dynamax is over. I think I'm good to go. <laughs> At least I got the special attack drop on the Dracovish. Yeah, that matters. That definitely matters, bro. Let me muddy water here. Burn up. Okay. Cool tech. Cool tech. Uh, he's still going to be taking a lot from this, though. And also, he loses stab. Watch this be weakness policy. Oh. You fool! You fell for it! You have to activate my weakness policy now! This was always part of the plan, I swear. I swear. This was, this was part of the plan. This was definitely part of the plan. If I miss this... If I miss this hit... On God, bro. On God, if I miss this hit. Okay, we did it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> that was that was an iffy one. That was an iffy one, but we managed to pick up a win. Awesome. Good game, Kens, man. Like, honestly, your teams are always a treat to face. I appreciate everything you bring to the table, man. Ooh, okay. Hold on. We're looking at some trick room heat. We're looking at some trick room heat right here. Let me go full screen. We are looking at some Trick Room Heat. So, I'm very scared about that, um, that Slow King. Uh, they have Guaranteed Trick Room with Slow King plus the Indeedee. I could honestly just go Raikou. 
Or not Raikou. I could go Dusclops Gigalith on lead. You know what's even safer than that? You know what's even safer than that? Let me go. Let me go Raikou Gigalith. In the Dusclops in the back, and I think my last Pokemon is gonna have to be the uh, Tapu Fini. And I'm just I'm just gonna go with that. Actually, no. There's no reason to bring Raikou in any situation here. Why am I leading off with Raikou when I could lead off with, with um? Because what are they going to do? They're going to lead off with the Trick Room Setters. I could just go Dusclops Gigalith here. I definitely want Incineroar in the back for Intimidating, and I have to go Finny. So no Raikou this game. Raikou is more for the faster options that I have. And why Why are you not on lead? Why Why is the boy not on lead? Did I accidentally remove Gigalith? There we go. I almost led wrong. That would have been really bad. And I think this, this covers most options. Sun, are you gaming? No. All right. Peony's theme, absolute bop. Name a better song. Would Snorlax be American? Objectively, yes. Snorlax and Didi? Hey, I can live with that. I can most certainly live with that. Because I actually beat this thing under Trick Room. Matter of fact, let me Trick Room up. Let me trick room up. I beat this whole team under trick room. Figgy Berry. Iron Ball. Okay, maybe I don't beat this team under trick room. Hold up. I definitely want to guarantee this thing goes down next turn. Will Max Rockfall do it? I certainly hope it does. I certainly hope Max Rockfall will do it here. Um... I'll trick room. I'll trick room myself. Metagross is Russian. I I can feel that. I can feel that. All right. Gigalith, best trick room Pokemon in the game. Trust me, that that shouldn't be a hot take. There's no reason that should be a hot take. They belly drum up. Good play by them, actually. I could have knocked them out this turn. And I still outspeed them under Trick Room, so... I don't outspeed the Indeedee, though. Make a team where every Pokemon has ally switch? I don't hate other people that much. You know, I, I have I have some decency. Like I said, I actually do beat this Dusclops, or I do beat the um, the Snorlax under Trick Room. Even at plus six, I can actually boost my defense here. I think my play is to go for that. In fact, I'm gonna go for the Steel Spike on the Indeedee, and I'm actually gonna bulldoze up, get some uh, weakness policy going, and then I have a lot of pressure versus the Snorlax in the in the subsequent turns. So, um, as long as they I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I live any hit at plus six from the Snorlax with my Gigalith, even if it's super effective, just because Gigalith, you know? What's a good counter to Trick Room Glacier? Honestly, you're looking at one. Uh, Dusclops plus Gigalith is really, really solid versus Trick Room Glacier. Um, and on top of that, I would say Kartana is good for beating Glacier outside of Trick Room. Tapu Fini is able to eat hits if you protect and position yourself well enough to stall out the Trick Room. And Incineroar is great for switching in and out. They go for the follow me, that's fine. I'll activate my weakness policy here. And at plus two, my steel spike should KO. The only thing that I might regret here is I did make my dust clop slower than the Snorlax under Trick Room now. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit iffy on the next couple of turns. It's a steel spike. This should KO, and I do get a defense boost. Nice. So if my Gigalith lives this turn, I think I can actually beat the, the Snorlax by going for a burn. But I have to land the burn. I absolutely have to land it. They go for the Max Quake. I think I eat... Oh yeah, it's Gigalith time. It is a certified Gigalith moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a certified Hood Classic. Because no matter what comes in, 
they're dead. That's just a fact. Gigalith is at plus two under Trick Room. The Snorlax is Dynamaxed. There's the Ferramosa. I'm gonna just... I mean, it's 100% my play to Steel Spike the Ferramosa, because they're probably just gonna... They're probably just gonna Speed Swap. Or even just go for the KO on the Gigalith. I'll Will-O-Wisp here, the Snorlax cutting the attack stat. Um, it'll cut it in half, and that also helps my my Dusclops beat it. Oh no, do not bring T-Tar to a Glacier matchup. They always have Max Knuckle. They should be Sash. Yep, Sand will take care of them after this turn. And at plus two defense, my Dusclop should live the hit here. So I should be able to get off a burn, bar barring a miss, you know. They max Quake, that's going to KO my Gigalith, I assume. Yep. And if I connect this burn, I'm in a pretty decent spot, since uh, Feramosa is guaranteed to go down. Unless they U-turn, actually. U-turn would save them, funny enough. As I connect my will o -Wisp, that's great news. That is absolutely great news. They also haven't replenished yet, which is phenomenal. They go for the close combat. Doesn't affect the Dusclops. Snorlax is going to take some burn. Feramosa is going to go down to sand. This is great. All right. And here I'll send in the Incineroar for Intimidating. This helps me deal with the Snorlax a bit more, because now he's at plus 5, and he's burned. There's the Glacier. I can go for a burn on the Glacier pretty pretty easily, actually. Get my Intimidate off as well. And as soon as this Trick Room's over, I'm in a really good spot with Dusclops. I don't want to send in my Finny to a Death Sentence known as Max Replenish. There are two turns of Trick Room. Um, my play here is going to be to fake out the Glacier and attempt to burn since uh, Dusclops eats every hit here. I get my fake out off. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Guys, shout out to me for getting about Psychic Terrain. Shout out to me. Shout out to me completely forgetting Psychic Terrain was on the field. I mean, it should be fine if I get this burn. I should be good to go as long as I get this burn. Because I can't get it next turn. That's not an option. Get the burn off. I mean, I'm glad I... It's not like I had an option there, to be honest. Besides the Will-O-Wisp, every other, every other option would actually result in my immediate, my immediate death. Dusclops takes no damage. Snorlax is buffeted by Sandstorm. And uh, Finny should be able to take a hit. They haven't replenished yet, which means that they're actually, they're actually in not a great situation. Because Finny can eat some hits. And if it comes down to Glacier v Dusclops, I think I win. This is a very, uh, very difficult end game, though. Alright. Still one more turn of Trick Room. I should always protect the Finny here. I'll protect the Finny. I'll go for the Nightshade on the Glacier for damage. Incinera is a thick kitty, by the way. Yup. <laughs> now, the Snorlax has a lot of special defense boost, but I think I'll be fine to break through him. They go for the Body Slam. That's great. Let's see if they doubled into it. Nightshade. Get some good damage off. They high horsepower into the Finny. That's awesome news. That's awesome news. Um, I have a couple of options here. Muddy Water is the least safe play I could make, but it has the chance to reward me. I think here I should always just um, attempt to KO Snorlax, because Glacier isn't in a position to actually be too threatening here. A Moonblast the Snorlax is going to do pretty negligible damage, to be honest, uh, but I can also go for a Nightshade into Glacier. After a couple of turns of burn, I'm in a pretty good spot. I should always protect every other turn with Finny, I think. At least if it comes down to a Finny endgame. Boomblast is going to be doing pretty much nothing since they're at plus three. Yeah, it does like nothing, but the burn on top of that's really good. They go for the Icicle Crash, probably into the Dusclops. 
Shouldn't be doing too much with plus two defense and a burn. I get my nightshade off. That's great. What's the set on the Finny? Um, I don't remember entirely, to be honest. That still does tons. Oh my god. That still does way too much to be comfortable with. Alright, Glacier should go down after another one of these. Um, Snorlax is going to have a very, very slow death to burn, but I think as long as they don't crit me, I should always come out on top here. Go for the Nightshade and the Glacier. Let's see if they protect. If they protect the Glacier, that's actually a really solid play here. They Ice Go Crash. They miss, unfortunately. Uh, they were just fishing for a flinch there, so I think, I think it's fine. They'll go down to burn at the end of the turn. Body Slam goes into Finny, and I should be able to just barely sneak in a win here. And Dusclops does have Bulldoze, so I can technically inflict some damage. It's just, like, no damage at all, though. <laughs> That's the thing. It's, like, so... It's such little damage. Watch them be Recycle Snorlax, and I've already lost. Let me go for the Moonblast. And, uh, I should technically Bulldoze. Watch me crit here. No crit. Bulldoze for a little bit extra damage. Oh, wait. That Bulldoze is actually pretty substantial damage in the grand scheme of things. In fact, I I'm actually probably going to win with Bulldoze now that I look at the, the damage I've been doing. They go for the high horsepower. Into the Finny. That's not going to KO. They should have always gone for the Body Slam there, in fact. Alright, and yeah. Moonblast into Bulldoze should seal the deal. Even if they protect to try to catch me on that. Like, in have me KO my own Finny, I should be fine. Good game dashing, Sceptile. That was a solid set. All of these games tonight have been really good. Honestly, you guys are so good. You guys are doing really good tonight. Every single set has come down, or every single game has come down to a very close, very close decision. Okay, let's do this. So Michael's a great player, and no! <laughs> no, I don't want to face this. So, uh, I'm assuming this is going to be like Fake Tears Grimmsnarl plus... Plus, um... What's it called? Not Calyrex, Spectrier. Does Grimmsnarl even get Fake Tears? I feel like it does. I feel like it definitely gets Fake Tears. It does, and I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever. Michael, I'm going to have to reject your battle request. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. So, how do I, I done diddly do this? How do I do 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 this? They really don't like Gigalithon lead, to be completely honest. To be 100% honest, they don't like Gigalith whatsoever. Lead off Incineroar too, because I think they're just going to try to KO my Gigalith on lead. Um, Tabu Finny looks great. Dusclops also looks great. I just can't lead off with it. That's the thing. Can't lead off with it. Actually, matter of fact, hold up. Why, why am I even leading off with Gigalith? Let me go Incineroar Dusclops. That should be fine, right? That should be fine, right? I'm not going to lose to this, right? Okay. How's my night going? It's been going pretty good. It's been going pretty good. Really good battles tonight, in fact. We've had awesome battles. The best battles, in fact. Spectre Grimmsnarl. That's the one I thought it'd be. That's the one. Now, here's the thing. Um, I actually don't know. I, I don't... I don't know... Anything. Um... Spectre's got Focus Sash. And Grimmsnarl's got Light Clay. They should just fake tears and try to KO my, my Grimmsnarl, or my Dusclops, I think. Hmm. <laughs> this is very scary. Let me fake out the Grimmsnarl, and I'm going to try to Trick Room. I actually don't know if I live this. I have not ran the Spectre or Calyx. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so they Shadow Ball, they're Focus Sash, so unless they crit, I live this. Awesome. Yeah, um, I was fully expecting the the fake tears there. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain they're gonna fake tears. Now I can get rid of this. But why would I get rid of it when I can just activate my weakness policy, bro? Because they're gonna get rid of my dust cops. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna get rid of the dust cops and they're gonna make me feel real bad. So I'm just gonna take this opportunity to activate the weakness policy.
Okay. I'm assuming they're just gonna KO the dust clops. Am I right? Am I not right? There's the reflect. There it is. There's Cool Cat. Cause I bulldoze. Get my policy, cause honesty is the best policy. I hope they knock out Dust Clops, in fact. I want them to. I would invite it, in fact. If they mud slap my Gigalith, I will be upset. There it is. Okay. 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 So they're gonna get plus one here. That's fine. That's cool. That's awesome. That's cool. That's, that's perfectly fine. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna max Steel Spike into their Grim Snarl. And I'm actually gonna make a big brain play, a big boy brain play. And I am going to Parting Shot into the Spectrier with my Incineroar here. And that should actually be a very gamer move of me. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's going to be a very gamer move of me. Because, like, what, what, what is their answer there? What is their... Truly, what, what is their response? They should never stay in with the Spectrier. In fact, they should always switch out. Uh, so I will take this opportunity to max Steel Spike into the Grim Snarl, likely knocking it out. And I will Parting Shot into the Spectrier. Because if they stay in, I survive every hit, and if they switch out, I am able to get whatever, you know, I, I get whatever switches in. So hopefully I catch something here. That'd be phenomenal. That would be absolutely incredible. By the way, shout out to Grimmsnarl. One of the greatest design Pokemon ever. Love that guy. I love how he's actually a very thin, thin animal. Very tiny. Um, un until, like, you know... The hair comes on. Let's see if they switch out here. That'd be interesting. If they did a double. As they decide to stay in. I wonder if they'll Dynamax. I'm glad I went for the damage into this uh, Porygon, though. A Steel Spike into a Rock Fall should be doing a lot. And I definitely don't want them to be able to remove my Trick Room. Oh, yeah. Uh, I should be fine here. And I get a nice little defense boost. Parting Shot. I wonder if they Mud Slapped. I would honestly be very offended if they Mud Slapped me. Grimmsnarl is basically Bayonetta. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> if they Mud Slap me, lowering my accuracy, I'll be so upset. Oh no, it's Mud Shot, right? Mud Shot lowers speed, which I'm fine with. Mud Shot the Finny, I would actually appreciate that. That would help me out quite a bit, in fact. I'd be slower than the Porygon, I believe. Because they will wisp me. Awesome. Gigalith. You're the man, Gigalith. The man. Okay, let me go for the uh, Max Rockfall. We definitely need to KO this Porygon before we can reset the Trick Room. And I will also go for the Moonblast and the Porygon. Spectre is at neutral, so it's not too threatening. Yep. What's coming in here? Grimmsnarl. I can live with that. Porygon doesn't run Protect. This double might pay off. Tapu Fini. Send... Okay, well... Mm. I was going to say send this man to the Shadow Realm. But unfortunately, no Shadow Realm sending for us. Not today. Actually, hold up. It's it's within range of Max Rockfall now. That's great. I think after this, it'll be within range. Oh, yeah. That is within Rockfalling range. I will fall all over this man. And we get the special attack drop, too. As, uh, along with along with that um, Epic Gamer meme. Uh, sand damage. That's what it's called. Let me go for the Max Rockfall. And I'm actually going to make a very big gamer move here. Oh, wait. I don't have Calm Mind. I have Moonblast. <laughs> I was going to I was gonna Calm Mind there and be able to take a hit from Spectre, but I can't because I'm dumb. I, I also wish I could go for the Max Quake here, but I can't. There's light screen, that's fine. I think this is my last turn of Trick Room. I haven't been counting because I'm bad at this game. 
Just so you know, I'm bad at this game. In case anyone tries to tell you otherwise. It's a lie. It's a blatant lie. Gonna get this moon blast off. Can I crit? I would love to get rewarded for not playing well. No? Okay, that's alright. It's okay, I guess. Twisted Dimensions return to normal, so now I'm, I'm very scared of Spectre, to be honest. I can't Heavy Slam it either. I have to go for the Rock Slide. Oh no, it's Metagross. Okay, hold up. I did Steel Spike, so I can definitely tank a hit here. I don't want to activate their policy, though, but I am very scared of this guy. Uh, they should Dynamax. I'm going to assume that they go for the Max Steel Spike. Do I switch out or do I just try to go for a KO? I don't believe I come even close to KOing them. I'll go Incineroar. I should want as much health on Gigalith as possible. Uh, and I'll also go for the Moonblast on the Grimmsnarl. Because that should be able to KO here. And I'm assuming they just Steel Spike. If they Quake, that's Big Brain. And I need that Reflect to run out if I want to beat this Metagross. Is they end up protecting? Okay, I can live with that. Go for the fake tears. Ooh, okay. I am picking up what you have just dropped on the floor. Hmm. Sandstorm's gone. How many turns of reflector left? That really determines how I play this one out. Three turns of Reflect, okay. And what else did they have there? Oh, just one turn of Mr. Train. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna Darkest Lair out here, assuming that they go for a... Assuming that they go for a max quake into my Incineroar, and I actually don't know if I live this, to be honest. I have no idea. It's probably the Metagross. Maybe they don't have max quake. Maybe they only have Steel Spike. That'd be great, too protect here. Hopefully avoiding a Shadow Ball. They bulldoze. Oh, uh, yeah, I lose. <laughs> I completely forgot that they run that. Who knows, maybe they went for the Steel Spike into the Finny and there's a fighting chance here. Likely not. Yeah, good game, Michael. There's no way I beat that at this point. He did an excellent job putting on the pressure. Because um, he knew for a fact if he went for the fake tiers on the turn that the Grimmsnarl went down, I would be forced to either switch out or protect the Finny, meaning that Incineroar wasn't able to do anything. So that was a really, really good play by him. And I think I just lose. Yeah, there's no situation where I actually come out on top here. Because my Tapu Finny still up minus two. And Metagross can KO either one of my Pokemon with plus two Seal Spike. So good game, man. That was really well played. I'll go ahead and I'll forfeit. Alright, good game to Michael. Excellent player. Great dude. Excellent artist. Commission him if he has commissions open.